What's up guys? So I was recently given this 2017 13 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, it's got 256 gigs of storage, eight gigs of RAM and the 2.3 gigahertz Core i5 from Intel. Uh, no touch bar or any of the sort of really fancy stuff um, and only two Thunderbolt 3. But there's a reason I was of course given this MacBook Pro and that's because there's a pretty big issue with it. Uh, the previous owner decided to just go ahead and purchase uh, a new uh, 2020 MacBook Pro um, just because they were just ready to sort of get a little bit higher performing of a system with the four Thunderbolt 3 and the touch bar. So I was given this very kindly, very graciously. Um, and the issue with it is that as soon as I unplug it from power, the system dies and that's because we have a bad battery. So I'm gonna plug it back in, turn it back on and show you guys the issue we're running into. So we have the system turned back on and when we go over to our battery icon, we can see service recommended, which is just not a good sign. Uh, if you click on that warning, it actually shows you that this means um, the battery is performing normally, but its ability to hold a charge is less than when it was new. Uh, you may want to consider replacing the battery. Uh, and then if I come into a piece of software that I have called Monit, um, if I hover over our battery, we can see not charging, the health is 64%, and the condition is permanent battery failure. Uh, so that is not a good sign either. Uh, so we just, we know we have to replace the battery, which is why I went ahead and I ordered a kit from iFixit for the 2017 13 inch MacBook Pro. So here is the kit, the battery comes in this box and then we get all the other tools we need to do the job right here. So we'll go ahead, unbox this, get everything out uh, and see what our next steps are for replacing this battery. So first things first, I'm just going to unbag all of our tools. See what we got. We have some adhesive remover, some gloves, a suction cup to pull off the back of the Mac, some safety glasses, tweezers, a screwdriver, some bits, and a little sort of spudger, uh, almost like a panel remover. Then we have some picks, almost like guitar picks, but this will be the kind of pry the back of the case off. And then some plastic cards, similar again, to be able to pry the back of our MacBook off. So to start off, we are going to actually take the back of our Mac off. Let's unbox. We'll get our screwdriver out, which already has the correct Torx bit in it. And now we're just gonna sort of go around the edges and pop these clips that are on the outside edge of the Mac. And you heard the one go right there. And there we go. There we go. We got the bottom piece of our case off, which is perfect. And now we can go ahead and get to our battery. So first thing we have to do is remove this battery cover right here. And we'll use the tweezers to do that. Now we're just gonna have to unpeel this and pull out our connector. And now all we need is our T5 screwdriver for this big screw right here. And 
And now we're just going to lift this little board up and away. And now we need to remove these two screws right on our ribbon cable for our trackpad. Now we can use our tweezers, just lift this up. Now we're going to use our spludger to lift the ribbon cable up and off. Now we just lifted the trackpad ribbon cable up and off of the battery. Now we're going to have to actually remove the trackpad completely, which is going to require our T5 torque screwdriver and removing all of these screws around the outer edge. So now we're going to use our T5 and remove the last two screws on our little power board. Now we should be able to use our spudger and just lift this up. The possibility that the adhesive removal that we're using, remover that we're using, could damage the anti-reflective coating on the screen. So we're gonna put a piece of tin foil over the screen. Just like that. So now be sure to don your safety glasses and your gloves when using the adhesive removal uh, agent. Uh, it can be a little bit uh, irritating. And we're gonna apply a few drops of our adhesive remover uh, to the front edge of our battery. So we got all three parts of the battery out. Uh, so now we can move on to the next step, which is just gonna be peeling all of these pieces off from the inside of the case. So now that all the adhesive strips are out, we can go ahead and unbox our new battery. There we go. Here we have the brand new battery from iFixit. There we go. Very, very nice. So what we're gonna do is move this back strip, which in turn also removes uh, the adhesive backing on all of the batteries. Going to leave the top one on for placement. Perfect. Now I can really remove this top strip. There we go. So our new battery is now in. And we just got to put the screws back in place where those came from. Uh, and we also have to put our touch bar back in as well. Let's go ahead 
and reinstall uh, this guy here first, and then we can go ahead and do the touch bar. We got the screws back in. Let's see how she's doing. Yeah. But there we go. It booted with our new battery installed. As you can see, we have 43% battery life. And there we have it, guys. A working MacBook Pro, not plugged into the power adapter. Uh, so it came charged up to like 45%. And then I fix it says to drain the battery down to 10% and then fully charge it in order to like optimize the battery and get it calibrated by the computer. Um, and the reason, the real reason, uh, the person who gave this to me gave it to me in the first place was because Apple gave them an invoice for this fix of $500. Uh, and the kit for my fix, it only costs us 150. So I'm assuming Apple's getting those parts for much, much cheaper. So they're just charging an insane amount on labor in order to just get you to buy a new laptop, which is what they ended up doing. And luckily for me, I now have a 2017 13 inch MacBook Pro, good as new, brand new battery, nothing to complain about now. Um, yeah, just a super easy uh, experience. Uh, I followed the iFixit directions directly online and uh, they do classify it as a moderate repair. So if you're not super electronic savvy, um, you might want to bring it into a shop, uh, that way they can do this repair for you if you're not super comfortable. Uh, but if you are somebody that has some electronics capabilities, honestly, a pretty easy repair, loosening up some screws, getting the adhesive out off the old battery, and then plopping in the new one and reconnecting everything back up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of me just bringing this MacBook Pro back to life. If you did give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments about this process or the kit itself, be sure to leave those in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel uh, and turn on post notifications. That way you can stay up to date on my latest videos. So I'll see you in the next one.